Now, next I want to um, show you another example of how angular mo the conservation of angular momentum um, comes into play in circus performance. Uh, and this one is actually a lot starker to see. Um, it is from a aerial hoop performance that um, Jude prepared for us earlier, and uh, we'll now put on this. So you see the apparatus there. It's a um, air, it's a hoop, a metal hoop, suspended from a single point on the ceiling. Now the rotation axis in this, and it is more of an axis than than a point. I suppose it's always an axis, but it's the line coming down from the rigging point at the top, through the rope, through the middle of the hoop, and to the ground. That's the axis of rotation that uh, Jude's about to start moving there. Now, you'll notice the way Jude shifts his weight around his foot there, their foot there to um, get that r rotation up until the feet are, the centrifugal force is, pulls the feet out and, and they're able to just lift their feet off the ground. And in a while there, they're going to start playing with it more by splicing the legs up and getting a sort of a, a what's called a, a gyroscopic procession whose axis is itself actually spinning. And when they get up onto the hoop, you'll see them, them um, extend their limbs out away from the center of axis of rotation and the, and the hoop will slow down and then come center. Do you see the center there? S whipping around. Now they can't actually spin, do anything to increase the angular momentum, but they can play with the velocity by going wider and going narrower. Now it looks like it's about to come to a stop there. I think we get one tiny more spin out of it before they finish. Here we go. So that's um, <laughs> much more. Thank you, Jude. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jude, for that uh, display. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to fit an uh, aerial rig in here, but um, Jude can now um, give us a quick demonstration of some uh, floor acrobatics. I do it first, and we'll talk through it a little bit. <laughs> now, part of the uh, art of acrobatics is just learning to just transfer momentum. So you see how they lifted their weight, lifting their hands up and lifting that center of gravity so that you just have a longer, it, it just lets you tip it over, and then the legs go up, then you're dealing with centrifugal force again, which just kind of lets the waist just tip over seamlessly, and then just transferring the momentum again into a forward roll. Now, oh yeah, sure, do it again. Do you want to talk? Yeah, yeah, do it slowly, yeah. <laughs> 